dropping down into uh, Castleton. So we get through Castleton and then we uh, weave our way through Danby and whatnot. Um, and I'll maybe show you a few little spots where there's a good chance of a fish. Um, it's, there actually not a lot of people know about where they, where they get to it on, on the river. Um, but I don't mind that. We'll see. Right, well here we are at the river. Um, it's a bit muddy. <laughs> a bit more rain than I thought. Um, but another day would be perfect, but it is what it is. See what we can do. Little spinning rod, size 3 maps, Shimano reel, little abu rod, and a net. See you in a bit. So I've had about an hour's fishing. Bit hard work really to be honest. Jungle warfare and whatnot. Hooks come out in the net. Well that's what you call the Yorkshire-esque sea trout. I'd put three or four pound on it maybe. He's going back the lad. Fresh as a daisy. Absolute stunning fish. Get your back. Hello, so two hours into it and I saw a few fish moving in this little pool here. I can't really lift the fish up, it's a bit hefty, but I think I've, it's either a big sea trout, somebody will have to tell me got a salmon. Looks about, I don't know, six poundish. But gives you an idea what's in this river and people say there's nothing in it, but I've fished it for years and that's the sort of fish you can get. Give you an idea. It's going straight back like so. We won't hang about. Well that's it. I've had a few hours fishing um, on the Esk in North Yorkshire near Danby. Um, had a couple of nice fish. Um, the idea of today was just to show you what's possible. I could fish for another couple of hours until it like, gets dark and chance of a couple more fish to be fair. Um, but is what it is. I had an operation three or four months ago and I'm still recovering so <laughs> not as fit as I should be. But anyway, good luck. See you later.